Hello guys, welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today I'm gonna to talk about Nightbot. Um, you may be wanting to set that up for your uh, streams, get it to kind of auto chat, do some things, maybe some timers, and just kind of, how does Nightbot work? How do I add a bot to my my chat? So today we're gonna to be talking about that for all you streamers out there and gamers. Um, and as usual, no BS, no bluff. Here we go. All right, we are gonna to go to nightbot.tv. We're gonna log in, you're gonna use your YouTube or your Twitch channel account, and you're gonna, it's gonna take you here. Um, there's a default set of commands that you can enable or disable right off the bat. Um, and before you do that, you need to add Nightbot to your channel on YouTube and allow them as a moderator. Um, when you sign in, it'll give you some instructions. Uh, you may also need to go to Twitch and link your Twitch account. Uh, when you sign in here, it has very easy, simple to follow directions on how to add that bot to your channel. Once that bot is added to your channel, when you go live, it's gonna auto join your chat. And what happens is these available lists of commands are now accessible due to this bot being in your channel. Um, a bot is essentially a scripted out kind of automated system that uh, allows different things to happen. So for instance, if they hit type exclamation point commands, a list of things will come up for them showing what those commands are. You can add a cooldown for the commands on how long until it can be triggered again. So if you have 15 people say exclamation point commands in your chat at the same time, it only pop up one per 10 seconds, which is great, full control. Um, you can do filters, game, poll, Regulars allows you to make a straw poll within chat. So the bot has a bunch of features and games and things that you can utilize and you can enable or disable these things um, right after you add it to your channel, which is really, really cool. Um, if you get the paid features, you can get even more. You can rename your bot and do other things like that. We'll follow up on that in another video. For now, we just want to look at default and custom commands and maybe some timers. Um, let's go down kind of everything here one at a time as well. Uh, it does have a giveaway tool that you can use and you can add that into your chat, set this up. It has different logs that you can look at. You can see people uh, saying uh, different chat features. You can actually, the log of your chat, it keeps logs. Um, you can see who your regulars are. Um, you can do song requests and add songs into your playlist. You can add different, it already has some that you can use as well that are streamer safe. Um, there's spam protection. So I actually set up like a black wit list of words and phrases that I don't want in my chat. Um, you can enable excessive caps. Um, excessive emotes, links, excessive symbols, repetitions, you know, so you can get rid of the, the spammers and all the kind of trolls and things like that. So this is one of the great features right off the bat. You can go click, 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 enable or disable to get some control of your chat. Um, you can go to the, the, the default commands and turn these on or off as well if you're interested in these. Um, there's different integrations you can use, but another one I like is timers. Um, so these are custom ones you can actually set up. You just click add and what you do, and I'll show you an example of one I added was say I wanted people to know my schedule. So I put the name of it. I add my schedule, some little emotes or emojis. Um, it uh, happens every 15 minutes or per seven chat lines. So it'll actually put this automatically in the chat every 15 minutes as a timer or every seven chat lines when I have a lot of people talking it'll automatically put it in there as well before the 15 minutes to let people know, hey, um, see a lot of you are chatting. This is my schedule. Really, really great stuff. And that's pretty much how you set it up. I don't use the alias at all because um, I don't need one because it's a timer. Um, I usually just set those up in the command. So when I hit the command, that op, that thing, that actually posts and comes up. So I did, uh, you know, hey, support my channel. Here's my schedule. Feel free to lurk. Here's my Instagram. Here's the Discord link. And people, these, these happen as timers. Um, now people, if they're curious about your Discord or Instagram or what your schedule is, you can also go to uh, custom command and add those in manually. And I can, you can go to add command and fill out the same kind of uh, template here. And uh, so one, here's one of mine's, for instance, for the Discord one. So if they type, the command is exclamation point Discord. And if you go in the, and if you add, like, add your link in here and you fill out the message thing, uh, you can put the cooldown again. Uh, and an alias, again, I don't use an alias or any Kirk queries like that. I just use the command. A lot of people are familiar with these exclamation point commands. Um, and it'll bring up my Discord link. And it says, hey, join the Discord and meet awesome people to squad and hang out with. Here's the link. And I think this is a great, great feature. 
Um, you want to add things, you know, here's some ideas. Discord, Instagram, all your links, Lurk, the rules, your schedule, your so all your socials. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Your specs, um, time, uh, and I can do timestamps, you know, if I want to just mark and chat when something cool happens. Um, and, you know, my PC specs and all that. So, um, and these are deletable, addable. Um, you can change the command for it on the time and the fly. They're very, very useful. So when you add Nightbot to your, your channel, like I said, you have default things you can turn on and off um, for commands, uh, timers you can create, spam protection you can turn on or off right away, and then you can start looking into song requests and the other fun stuff, giveaways, and setting up your own custom commands. And uh, Nightbot's a really great free tool to get started with in your stream chat channel. It adds flexibility, it adds things for the users to do and interact with with your chat. Um, again, so this was an introduction to Nightbot. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for the live streams. We have tons of fun. And if you wanna see another video in the future on any topic, let me know. I try to respond to all the comments down below as well. I'm Drake Ray Gaming, and I'll see you next time.